So the reason we we're putting this adjustable track bar in is because we're actually hitting the KDSS drop right here. This is on the driver side. And you can see these scratches right here. This is on the track bar. And we're scratching up against that front bolt on the KDSS. So as you can see right here is where the bend is. And this side goes on to passenger side. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to work because the bend's going to be up high on the passenger side where we were hitting on the driver side over in this area. So I'm curious how getting the bend on the opposite side of the vehicle is going to work for us, but we'll figure it out. We'll see how it works. Step one is to remove the old track bar, which is two 19 millimeter wrenches. What, number one is right there. You've got to remove that one. And then the other one is all the way on the other side, right up here. And does it slide right out? We have room to slide it right out? Yeah, we should. Nice. Here's why we should have removed the tires. <laughs> All right, so we just finished liberally greasing the bushings down with some all-purpose grease. Um, you grease every surface that you possibly can, except you don't need to grease where the bolt goes through the bushing, um, that spacer on the inside. So you just grease everything a lot. So we have the old track bar on the bottom side now that we've taken it out. And I just put the bolt through that so it's perfectly aligned. And then I did the same thing. I adjusted it so that the bolt is through it on this side. So now we have the exact same length, which happens to be right around 40 inches eye to eye. I'm making sure that these bolts are up so that we can get easy access to it when we need to tighten it. Um, and then this is still at the stock 40 inches. All right, that one's in. I'm not tight, I'm staying loose. Rubber mallet. There you go. Watch out for that zerk on the back side. Yeah, it's going. So our next step here is on the bottom of the KDSS, this is the back side, we're gonna remove the front bolt and we are gonna replace it with another button head one. That's an Allen style. Uh, I believe this is to help slide it over the top and not rub if it happens to. So that's a 14 millimeter. We're going to pull that out now. Let me see the gold. <laughs> see all the dirt fall? Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sorry we don't go mudding. I really stayed out of the mud actually the other day. I mean, I, I, I genuinely did. Just when you go out there and it's like, you know, there's even a little bit of mud on the ground. Remove the front KDSS sway bar with clamp. Replace with the supplied six millimeter Allen torque 35. So then Icon suggests that we extend the track bar one sixteenth of an inch for every inch of lift. So we're gonna be, we have three inches of lift. So we are gonna be extending three sixteenths. All right, so we got it going here. What we did was we used just an Allen head um, and we were sticking those in these slots here and then we were moving it around side to side. We had the tape measure on here and then we had it stretched to the other side and then we were measuring it, making sure that we were going at 3 16 On the instructions, it says to have the slit, which there, here I'll show you. There's a slit right here on this uh, collar and it matches up with the slit on the tie rod or the tie rod, yeah. And so we just match those up. We're gonna put these bolts in. I already put some blue thread lock on it. These are 3 8 12 point. So what we're doing is we're tightening these just a little bit on each one. You just rotate back and forth from one to the other, making sure you're not over tightening them. We're going to 25 foot pounds. So it's a little bit, just make sure you're paying attention because it'll click early. There it is. Oop, there it is. All right, we're going down. We're going to see if we clear the track bar. Going slow. And we clear. 
Nice. Are we clearing? We cleared the bolt. There's room underneath that bolt there. But what actually what's happening right now is now our sway bar is colliding with our track bar. So because we uh, got a little bit more droop, we're actually hitting on this side now, right here. Our uh, passenger side is totally fine, no problems. Space all around. But yeah, with this Icon adjustable track bar, we are now hitting right here. But we are now missing this spot. So I guess that's better. So the last and final step is actually get the vehicle professionally aligned. This is just getting us in the ballpark of where we want to be, but that alignment shop will actually get you dialed in. So appreciate you watching. I'll put all, any of the updates about what the company says about that collision uh, down in the description once we find out. Um, so keep track of this video and um, keep note. Also check out Trail for our blog on this track bar and there'll be a whole bunch of updates there as well. Thanks for watching and don't forget, keep crawling.